Hey guys, it's Sarah Live and Good with the Good Life Group at Keller Williams Realty Boise. And I'm coming to you today to share with you our market dynamics for Ada and Canyon County. So a lot of you have asked or have ever wondered, like, where do we get this information from? So I wanted to share it with you. So this information is disseminated from our multiple listing service. So let's get started. So this is what we call our market dynamics, and I'm happy to share this with any one of you that is interested. I'm just going to move my screen over here. So you can tell this is for January of 2023. This is our existing home market, and we are in Ada County. So when I'm looking at pricing homes, this is one of the tools that I look to. So Currently, we have 599 active listings in our MLS as of January. This is compared to 220 listings in our MLS, of, again, January 22. So you can see this red line, how it rose up. We had a definite increase in homes over the summer and then has dwindled down through the winter months. The other interesting thing that I look at when I look at pricing homes is this right here this is our average sold priced historically so you can see that 2022 versus 2023 we are actually down 0.2 percent which i find fascinating i also like to look at months of inventory and you can tell right now till we get above the two million dollar mark we have what is would be considered a fairly strong seller's market at essentially one, maybe two months, 1.2 on average months of inventory in each price bracket. The other thing that I look at is this little guy down here. This is the average of the uh, list to sold ratios. So sellers in Ada County are looking to get 99.0% list to sold ratios. So what does that mean if you're a buyer? So I know some buyers are really trying to get some like crazy smoking hot deals, which I can applaud. Like it's, I understand you want what's best for your family. However, the giant deals where you're peeling off, you know, $100,000 or $50,000 or something like that and ask for closing costs, it's not really happening or it's not really reflected in our data. So again, we look at list to sold uh, information as well. So the other thing that I look at is this guy right here. Um, this is, so our MLS is broken down into different areas. I pulled area 650, which is the area of town that I live in. Again, this is for the report of January, 2023, West Boise Garden City is where I live. We currently have 32 active listings. We can also see our average historical price has gone down a little bit more than the average of the rest of Ada County, because we're piecing it out, it's gone down 0.8%. So that overall historical sold price currently is 495296 And then sellers in my area of town are looking to get 99.5% list to sold ratio. So that means as opposed to the rest of Ada County, in this area of town, sellers are expecting to pay less closing cost contribution or take less of a price reduction. The other thing that I look at as an overall whole market is our new construction market because we do have that broken down. So currently in Ada County, there are 703 active listings and the prices have gone down 0.5% to an average of $694,268. And builders are expecting to get 100% list to sold ratio. So it doesn't mean they're not offering some incentives to buyers. I know some of our larger home builders are offering really big concessions in the way of, you know, fences or rate buy downs or things like that. But if you have questions on this and if you would like to get this data for your particular area, I'm really happy to send it to you. We're going to pop over to Canny County really quick. So Canny County, this is the entire uh, entirety of Canyon County, the existing home market. There are currently 335 active and available listings, as opposed to January of 2022, where there were 110. So, and our uh, friends in Canyon County, their market has gone down 0.2%. So again, when we look at our months of inventory, 
we have an average of 1.5 months. You can see right here in a 1.5 to $2 million market for existing homes, there's 12 months of inventory. So that's a little bit different of a story than the rest of the market where it is much more of a seller's market customarily, as well as we're seeing that sellers on average are getting 99.3% list to sold. We're going to Cannon County in the new construction home market. There are currently 370 active listings as opposed to 247. So it had, it's had kind of a very interesting curve with what builders are doing. New construction in Canning County is also down 0.7% on your average historical sold price. And the other thing that I find interesting here is that builders are looking to receive 99.4% list to sold ratio. So it's just fascinating when you break it down kind of market by market and then area by area. And I even do this subdivision by subdivision when I'm running comps. So if you guys have questions about our market, or if you would like to receive a copy of this, we do send this out monthly to our friends, our family, our sphere of influence, or anybody who wants it. I'd be more than happy to send it out to you and help you understand what's happening in your area and your market. And if you have any questions about your home, or if you ever need anything, I can always be reached at 208-703-8765. We'll see you soon.